Good afternoon. This is Pam with Follow Your Brush. If I have figured out how to edit correctly, you saw my previous version of this painting when I started to rework it. If I haven't figured out how to edit, let me catch you up. I had taken this painting down from the wall. It was truly unfinished. I had done this in 2021 and I had put it up on the wall. It had potential, but I had never really finished it in my estimation at the time. I knew it needed more, but I didn't know what. So I took it down to put some new pictures up on my in my foyer. And um, I thought, well, since it's probably just going to go in a pile somewhere, let me see if I can't rework this. So I have my Levinson brush, my palette of colors that um, I put together. It's a combination of Daniel Smith, mostly Daniel Smith. I do have some M. Graham and some Winsor Newton in here. Uh, but I've added some yellow and I added some permanent orange from Winsor Newton and some, uh, it says Quinciana to the center here. But as it's dried, because I took a break, and as it's dried, I see that I need more definition. So since it's just going in a pile anywhere, and um, it doesn't really matter, does it? I'm gonna come back in. I think it needs more definition. I'm gonna start over here in an area that might not be as obvious if I mess it up. And if it is, well, it'll just go back to that pile. I'm dipping into some magenta here and making some other types of petals that might be a little more defined. And that's working. I can't really add more yellow because once you have started adding yellow and you try to add more yellow, you're not really deepening it. You're just adding more yellow. <laughs> so um, I'm just gonna kind of come in with this magenta, which actually, isn't that looking pretty? That is giving me some nice definition, I think, to these flowers. And I can control that a little better. And I think that looks really pretty. So this, what I'm doing is um, going back into an old painting I had done in 2021. I'm just trying to rework it. I've learned more since then, at least hopefully, I think I have. So I'm trying to come back in and see if I can't make this work a little better for what I was trying to do. I'm gonna stick with the magenta and come over to this one. So I already have some light layers on here that I had already done. I do not have a reference photo. Um, I actually doubt that I even had one when I did this originally <laughs> because that's just kind of the way I work. But this is really pretty now, I think. I think this is much better. I just had the yellow in there before. And what I needed was more depth. And this Quinn Magenta is just really giving me that. And I really like this. So, you know, when you have those old stacks of paintings that maybe you have discarded or you just have back on the shelf somewhere or in a drawer, don't be afraid to go back in and maybe see what you can do now. Maybe you're, uh, have, maybe you've grown. <laughs> Hopefully I have. And actually, I'm loving what's happening now with adding this magenta to this these flowers. Isn't that pretty? That's really pretty. I'm very happy with that. Let me come in with this one over here, too, because this is a gorgeous beginning. 
if it's already laying in a stack, don't be afraid to, to go in and play with it. Because who knows, you know, what you might do. You might surprise yourself like I am now. Watercolor always kind of surprises me anyway. But coming in with this, these new colors is just really a delightful surprise. And, you know, this might actually go back up on the wall. I'm taking it down. Whew, I love this. Not only am I giving it more depth, but I'm giving it some more direction. Because this particular flower seemed to have more going that way than it did this way. So I was concerned about that and how I was going to fix that because I didn't particularly care for what it was doing over here on the sides. I'll give it just a little bit over here. So I still have some of that yellow underneath, which is quite lovely. This is my brush from Tracy Levinson, handmade bamboo handle, which is like holding nothing. It's, it's so delightful to work with. Tracy Levinson, levinsonpaintbrushes.com if you want to take a look at his brushes. And I... I absolutely love them. They hold a lot of water, pigment, have gorgeous tip. So I could get these beautiful marks on here. Coming from just about any direction, really. So I'm liking what's happening to my repurposed painting. I wasn't really happy with this when I took it down. It's like, I, you know, I never really finished this. So um, why not, right? Why not go for it and see what you can do? Make something beautiful. You gotta remember, it's just a piece of paper. If it doesn't work out, there's nothing wrong with that either. This actually is a little damp because I was trying to um, add some earlier and then I had to stop because someone came to the door and my ring doorbell went off. But um, wow, I like this. I really like this. Let me add some more up here. This painting has just been on the wall for two years waiting for me to come back. <laughs> Poor little painting. Um, I'm gonna leave those petals alone because I think they're really gorgeous. I am gonna come back in here to my greenery though and just add some more there as well. Coming in with some, let me see what color. This is uh, serpentine green. It's a really nice, pretty color. I'm just kind of dip dabbing. Uh, call me the dip dabber. That's what I do, I just dib dab my way across the page. I am not trying to be botanically correct. I do not have a reference photo. Just kind of going instinctively here. So far I like what I'm doing. So then what I try to instinctively do is stop before I ruin it. <laughs> There's the challenge. Stop. But so far, I'm, I'm liking this. So, um, of course, we know it does dry lighter. But I am, this is probably, I don't know how many layers I had done in 2022 or 2021 when I first did it. So this could be the fourth layer for all I know. Now, I see that I splattered some green up there, and you know what? Since I did that, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna splatter a little more. Let me splatter some more coming up this direction. 
I think it gives it a nice look. And let's splatter a little bit up in here because I don't really have any greenery there. So I'm gonna stop for now. I like the way I have repurposed this, except let me come back in here. Let me do add some stems because I don't have any connecting these flowers. So they're just kind of floating in the air there. Put a connecting stem down here. And you know, I may not have thought about that back in 2021 either. I started my watercolor journey in uh, 2019. So when I did this, I was still learning. I'll give just a little bit of green here in the center. Just a touch though. I don't want to I don't want to overdo this. Just let that kind of come in there. Some hints of the center of my flower. So don't be afraid to go back and revisit some of your old paintings that perhaps you didn't like before or felt really weren't complete and um, just have a good time with them and um, see what you can do. Thanks so much for watching, Pam. Follow your brush, like, and subscribe if you want to follow my adventures. And um, I am going from my little bitty sketchbooks to my big paper. I have some big sheets of arches, 22 by 30 inches. See what happens with that. More than likely, I'll fold it and cut it down. Thanks for watching my repurposed painting. Talk to you later. Bye.